All right, Fit Lifers, Drew Canole. I'm here with my boy, Amish Shah. How you doing, everybody? Two years ago, I think I first met you at the, yeah. at the Magic Bullet seminar. Yeah. And then afterwards, uh, he hit me up on Facebook, and then uh, yeah. he told me about juicing, and he told me about you know changing my life and getting into the health that I've always wanted to, and I've always thought I wanted to be in the best health, yeah. but I never actually had anyone like come up to me and be like, you, it's, it's your turn to get in the best <laughs> health ever. And I was like, really? <laughs> and so I, I did, and uh, it, took, it was a little struggle, of course. I mean, yeah. it's, a, it's a process, you know? It's, it's, it's a lot of mind process, too. You gotta deprogram the way that you've, you've always thought you need to eat or you need to live or things like that. And uh, it's, a, it's a learning process for sure. Yeah. And so it's been two years, three years? Two years. years. Yeah, maybe three years. And I've actually personally, you know, thanks to Drew's, I've I've dropped 18 pounds. 18 pounds. And my cholesterol dropped 100 points. So um, your cholesterol dropped 100 points. You lost 18 pounds. Yeah. And those are like sideline benefits, you guys. I think the overall benefit is Amish is doing big things in the world. Yeah. And uh, completely changed, like, yeah. it, it changed my mind. And, you know, I've always had kind of like that mindset, like I've always wanted to do mindset and I've always believed, believed in having a strong mindset and that's kind of what has led me to some of the success I've had is just having that mindset but then when you cleanse your body out and you cleanse what's inside your mindset becomes even like more sharp it's like yeah. it just becomes more fortified and allows you to kind of realize what your true purpose is yeah. um, most people say what do you what's my purpose or what, what am I here for yeah and I think the truth is it's already it's already inside of you all right, so as we were we were talking about earlier, you know, what's the biggest takeaway that you've had in 2012, Amish? And um, I mean, you, he's done it all. I mean, he's run multiple companies, very successful. But what's the biggest takeaway that you can use in 2013 to propel yourself into massive levels of success? The first thing that came to my head, like, you know, it took me a little while, but it hit me. And I was just like, do you. Mm -hmm. And I was like, honestly, just do you. And I think that is the best advice that I can give anybody on, on having a strong mindset is like, you know, like get out of following everything that's around you and just go for what you really believe in. Stop looking at everything around you. Stop looking at the competition around you. Stop, you know, um, looking at someone else's life as if they're like better. You're, you can be just as good. Yeah. You are just as good. In fact, you're better, you know? You, you have to kind of understand that, that you are, you are in control of what you think and what you see and what you create in your life. So I, I heard real quick, stop looking at other people, stop competing with other people, mm -hmm. become your own. You know, I think that's a really major topic. It is. It's actually unfold into your own unique talents, your own unique abilities, because we do have them all. Yes, so, all, all of us have our, that, that unique ability about all of us. So in doing you, let's let's give them a little bit of challenge, can we? Can we give yeah, them a sure. tool or a tip or a takeaway, something that's... So I've, uh, I've, been, I've been thinking about this. This is probably about a little less than a year old. And it hit me one day, boom, last year. This is kind of what made my almost my transition point, you know? And I was like, man, what's what's going on? Like I was saying before, I was like, why? My mind constantly was being like fed by people and thoughts and things I didn't like. And I was yeah. like, why is my mind constantly just repeating these things in my head over and over and over again? It's a loud noise. It's like, yeah, exactly, it was just this noise. So what I did was I created three columns. And the first column was people. You write down the people that you feel like you have a problem with or you feel like maybe you're jealous about or you're guilty about or you feel something an emotion towards them that isn't that isn't congruent yeah. with how you want to feel then the second column here yeah <laughs> is the problem okay, and when so problem right there yeah problem that you have with the person that you have with the problem okay i mean with, with the with <laughs> the, the person problems. sorry yeah so the problem that you have with the person and that could be like oh i don't like the way that they they talk or i don't like the fact that yeah. they said this the other day or i don't like the way that they're always like i don't know it could be anything yeah. They didn't like the way they look. Seriously. I mean, any problem that you have with them, write it down. Then the third column is personality. And this one is pretty interesting. Yeah. So now that you have the person and you have the problem, what is it about that person's personality that causes that problem that you feel it's a problem? What is that thing? So someone could be, oh, like they think they're so cool or um, they, they're super charismatic and they're trying to like, they're suave and that makes them like, you know, yeah. write that, write that. Write that down. And now, this is the this is the kicker. Let's go. Let's go over that now. Okay. Go backwards on each person okay. now. Right. So it's the personality. 
we're so we, looking at. We're looking at the personality. So Amisha has pretty cool hair. So the personality <laughs> is the thing that you need to work on most. Okay, cool. Yourself. So that's actually, what this is, is a reflection of you, which that helps you get past work. all those barriers. That makes sense. So the personality is the problem that you need to work on for yourself and increase that. Mm -hmm. Then we have the second thing, which is the problem. And the last one is the person. You're looking at that person as a problem, but in fact, it's not a problem. It's you that you need to fix the personality traits. So yeah. what you need to do is after you realize that the personality thing is the thing that you need to change about yourself, the problem and the, and the person, you need to just think in your mind that like you just liberate that person. Like okay. I'm, I'm done with this. I'm gonna focus on this for myself. Let go of it. And it's truly like, like a heart opening, mind yeah, breaking experience because you're like, I never thought about it like that. What's gonna happen is you're gonna break through that, that barrier. That barrier that, that you say like other people around you that you think are competing with you or you don't like them for a reason, that you're gonna fix that about yourself. Mm -hmm. And because you're fixing that about yourself, that person will never be a problem again in your life, ever, yeah. ever. Because you've gotten past that. And every time you feel like that person is a problem, you go back to the exercise, you do the three steps again, and you liberate yourself again. It's gonna blow you away. So, and do you, like Amish said, thank you so much for coming on my Thanks, Monday thanks Monday. for having me here. Yeah, yeah. totally. What's up, you everybody? Have a, you have a personal website you wanna recommend they go to to check out your uh, stuff? My personal website is amish-shah.com, so yeah. it's amish-shah.com. And he's doing big things, like I said. So follow Amish, I'll leave a little link below this video to you guys. And then also, if you wanna check out a past Mindset Monday, uh, check it out, you know, watch him. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Drew yeah, Kenobi. definitely. Amisha. We're in this together. We'll Let's do this. Soon. All right.